Uneasy TV. OMG! What's going on in the entertainment industry when it comes to overdoses? Oh my God! R.I.P. to our most recent um, actor, Michael K. Williams, who allegedly overdosed of um, fentanyl, man. Him and another uh, comedian out here in L.A., Fuquan Johnson, he also passed of overdose recently. But this thing's been going on. Since the beginning of the entertainment business, man, we're going to just stick to the entertainment business. Now, we're just going to go to like a short list, a very short list, because it's a long list from actors, singers, rappers, uh, uh, basketball players. I mean, everybody in the entertainment industry, man, not everybody, but a lot of people in the entertainment industry has died of drug overdoses man i'm just gonna go through the recent history from the 60s to now just to name a few people this is just a few people i couldn't even it's a long it's the list was so long it's it's ridiculous um we gonna start like you know in the 60s okay uh let's go to the 1962 marilyn monroe man found dead you know allegedly died over barbiturates man then we gonna go to frankie lyman man the singer frankie lyman goody goody <laughs> he died in 1968 over a strong heroin addiction allegedly all these is allegedly allegedly let me put allegedly on here then our queen the beautiful one dorothy dandridge man 1965 died over pills I forgot what pills, but she died over pills. Then we jumped to the 70s. We jumped to the 70s, man. Dude, this is the list is ridiculous. I'm going down this list. I'm like, these are just people that we kind of, you know, these are before my time. But I just, but I heard of these names before. Of course, the 70s, let's go to the 70s. Elvis Presley. People try to downplay Elvis Presley and said he he died over obesity and all that. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. 1977, they found he died in 1977. They found 14 prescription drugs in his system. Man, overdose. I don't care what nobody say. Um, Jimi Hendrix. Hendrix. Sorry, Jimi Hendrix. You know the rock and roll. You know, heavy metal, uh, I think the introduction of heavy metal, man. Jimi Hendrix, the architect of heavy metal. People can debate that all they want, but I think he's the introduction to heavy metal. Take it how you want it. Anyway, he died in 1970, you know, over barbiturates. So this stuff been going on for a long time. Jim Morrison, they try to downplay his death. But, you know, everybody close to him said he had a strong alcohol problem. So, I'm going to throw him in on there, too. Allegedly, 1971, over an alcohol overdose. We're going to throw him in there. Sorry. Uh, Jonas Joplin, 1970, Heron. Just been going on for the longest time. So, it make you think, like, what's going on with the, with the entertainment business? Then we jump to the 80s. This basketball player, they said, was good as Michael Jordan or even better. His name was Lynn Bias, man. 1986, he died of a Coke overdose. Then the comedian, you know, the Blues Brothers. I know he did more than that. Um, John Belushi, man. 1982, Heron and Coke. It's a long list. Then you go to the 90s. You go to the 90s, man. You got... um. Chris Farley, the comedian, 1997, died of coke and morphine. And then you go to uh, Rob, uh, excuse, I can't pronounce his last name, Pilatus of the group Millie Vanilli. Excuse the pronunciation, pronunciation, I know I said it wrong. 1998, he died of alcohol and pills. So the, I mean, and then a guy named Brent, of Grateful Dead, he died of speedballs in 1990. So then you go to the early 2000s. 
Old Dirty Bastard, Coke. Oh, man, the R&B R &B, uh, crooner, Jail LeVert, 2006, Pills, 2007, Pimp C, The Legend, Texas, Codeine, 2007 also, Ike Turner, everybody know Ike, and then you go to 2009, the greatest entertainer in the world of in the music industry hands down i don't care what nobody say he's the greatest michael jackson 2009 man propofol pills basically and stuff and the list just keeps going going to the 2010s amy winehouse alcohol overdose 2013 chris kelly of chris cross Coke. Then the oh man, the legend, my guy. Oh, I love this dude. Prince. Hurts to say this. Fitnall, 2016, man. Then the rapper Mac Miller, 2018, Fitnall. Then Juice World. 2019 off that codeine i think it was juice world 2021 dmx oh man came out of left field he been battling for years and uh the cause of death they said is basically due to coke Coke. Then 2021 as well. Shock G of Digital Underground. Fentanyl, alcohol, and meth. I know I left a lot of rappers, actors, singers, athletes, and all type of entertainers, but the list is just too long. With the list of all these people in the entertainment business it makes you think hmm do these executives promote drug use or they just condone drug use it makes you think hmm subscribe like comment to don easy tv yeah